Islam Whisperer. 47 reasons why I fear Islam. And these reasons can be confirmed by reading Ibn Warwick, Robert Spencer, Noni Darwish, and many other writers. There are literally hundreds of sites online that will back up what I say here. suspicious of any religion that demands the death of any member who quits. In Islamic nations, any Muslim male can have his way with any female he has access to because it is impossible to convict a Muslim male of rape under Islamic law. I am suspicious of any religion with a zero tolerance for criticism. Any criticism of Islam is blasphemy penalty for which is death. I am suspicious of any religion which claims that it is perfect as is and must never be changed or moderated on penalty of death for anyone attempting to do so. Islam divides the world into House of Islam and House of Warfare, which means that a technical state of war exists between Islam and anything that is not Islamic. A religion that claims to be peaceful, but is at war with everything else. In Islamic nations, male members of the religion are first-class citizens. Female members of the religion are second-class citizens. Non-members are third-class citizens, and Jews are fourth-class citizens. I am suspicious of any religion with holy texts statistically more anti-Semitic than Hitler's Mein Kampf. I am suspicious of any religion that legally defines the worth of female members as half that of male members, and which views non-members as subhuman. Complex prayer rituals, which must be done a minimum of five times a day, every day without exception, are not healthy for people or for people living near people compulsively praying in military formation like that, in my opinion. I am suspicious of any religion which has no honorable surrender for its members but rather demands that its members fight on in suicide against hopeless odds.
Initially, Islam was a peaceful force with peaceful teachings. During that first decade, it gained about 150 members through persuasion. Then Islam changed character with warlike teachings. During that second decade, it gained about 30,000 members through looting, killing, and forced conversions. Today, the warlike teachings overrule the peaceful teachings. Moderate Muslims are in the minority, have no influence, and are afraid to speak up. Mentally ill people are used as frontline troops in the struggle against non-Islamic forces. Muslims tend to blame other people for their own problems. I am suspicious of any religion where cursing your enemies and chanting for their death is an accepted religious ceremony. My intent is to expose Islam to Christians so that we can know what we are dealing with, not attack Islam. However, some parts of Islam seem so nasty from the Western point of view that to expose them, to talk about them at all, seems like an attack. Me? Islamophobic? Just because I am afraid of Islam doesn't mean that these slaves of their god aren't trying to destroy my way of life and possibly my life. 